Welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to solve a more concept question from 2017 uh, school certificate ECZ uh, past paper that is science uh, paper 2. Okay, so let us start. The first question in this case is define the term concentration. Define the term concentration. So what is concentration? So, by definition, concentration is just the amount of solute dissolved in a unit volume of a solution. The concentration is the amount of solute dissolved in a unit volume of uh, the solution. Okay? That is how you define a uh, concentration. Then the second question is calculate the concentration made by dissolving 60 grams of sodium hydroxide that is sodium hydroxide parrots in 300 uh, centimeter cubed of water okay now concentration can be calculated in this case in grams per decimeter cubed or in moles per decimeter cubed the amount of solute in this case in grams dissolved in uh, uh, per cubic centimeter per decimeter cubed of the solution so in this case, we are going to calculate concentration in more per decimeter cubed, also known as the morality. Okay. So now, how do we uh, find this concentration? So concentration or morality is equals to number of moles over volume. That is the formula that we use. Number of moles, more. That is the abbreviation of moles. Then volume is in decimeter cubed okay now what are we given the volume that we are given we are given 300 centimeter cubed the volume in centimeter cubed so converting it into decimeter cubed one decimeter cubed is equivalent to one cent uh, 100 centimeter a uh, 1000 centimeter cubed so in this case if you find if you multiply there you're going to find the answer that in decimeter cubed, just the same as 0 0.3 decimeter cubed. So that is the volume in decimeter cubed. Now, let us find number of moles. Because for us to find concentration, we need number of moles. And the volume is already there in decimeter cubed. Now we need to find the number of moles. Now, what are we given in this question? So in this case, in this case we have the given mass of sodium hydroxide. So having given, or if you are given the mass, the formula that you use to find the number of moles is this one. Number of moles is equal to given mass over molar mass. Okay, what is the given mass in this case? 60 gram. Okay, 60 gram is the given mass. You divide uh, the molar mass. The molar mass of sodium hydroxide. What is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? So sodium hydroxide is like this. Okay. So we have hydrogen 1, we have oxygen 1, 16, we have uh, sodium, in this case, uh, the molar mass of sodium, the, the molar mass of sodium, if you look at the periodic table, is 23, so plus 23, okay, so 16, 17, plus 23, what are we going to have? So 24 plus 16 is just the same as the 40 grams uh, per mole, okay? Because this is the molar mass, okay? The mass per mole. So 40 grams per mole, okay? Gram and gram will cancel. Then 60 divide 40 is 1.5 uh, mole. So the number of moles of uh, sodium hydroxide is... 1.5 more. We can go now calculate the concentration using the formula. Number of moles we have 1.5 more. Divide the volume is 0.3 decimeter cubed. If we divide this, we are going to find 5 uh, more per decimeter cubed. That is the concentration of uh, the sodium hydroxide in that case, uh, given the mass 60 gram. Okay, the next question that we are answering in this case is what is the effect of increasing the concentration of the reactant on the rate of chemical reaction? 
So rate of chemical reaction, we are just looking at how fast or slow the reaction is. So in this case, what determines uh, the, the speed at which the reaction occur, or what determines the rate, what increases the rate of uh, reaction according to collision theory? We are looking at how often are the reactants or particles in the reactant colliding. So you can picture this where you have a smaller amount, let's say, of uh, the particles, only have few of them. Then you increase the concentration, you put uh, there a lot of them. So in terms of colliding, the ones that are high in concentration, they'll collide easily, and of course they can be, uh, uh, the product can be formed easily. So in this case, in answering the question, the rate of chemical reaction increase with increase in concentration, and the reason behind is that there will be more uh, particles colliding or the chances of particles colliding is high hence the products will be formed oftenly and therefore increasing the rate of chemical uh, reaction but in this case just a one mark so you just needed to put uh, concentration increases the rate of uh, chemical reaction okay all right so that is it uh, for this video